Hello, my lovelies, and welcome again to this warm, festive season. Christmas is an emotional, reflective time and a wonderful opportunity to get together with family, share, record, tell your family stories. It's also a great time to have important conversations with your family. How is everybody doing? Are your loved ones maybe showing a little bit of age, less capable with holiday preparation? Maybe a little less capable than they were last year. Do they need a little bit more help? Is it time to create a rota, brothers and sisters, and start helping them manage? Get powers of attorney in place. It's also a great time to reflect in the year that has passed and plan for the year ahead. My most exciting adventure this year was running for office. Then all the new learning that came with the position of Moraine Valley trustee when I was elected. As you know, we opened this fabulous new studio for Channel 4 this year and initiated lots of new shows. We also had another stellar year with Carolyn Walsh Law in Palis Heights. To celebrate, I have a lovely gift basket to raffle. In this basket, I'm going to give you a copy of my book, The Soul of Your Business, that I wrote back in 2023. Uh, for telling those family stories. I have my legacy letter program, this beautiful program with a series of videos, as well as a workbook, will guide you through your life, your childhood, your middle years, help you tell your story, its meaning, its purpose. What did you learn? What do you have to teach? What wisdom do you have to pass on to your children? I love this little gem of a program and I'm including it for you in my package. I also have buried in here a gift certificate for Curlum Walsh Law. We have some wine, some cozy socks, and of course, chocolate. So how do we get a chance to win this gift basket? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to answer the following questions. And when you have the answers, and I'm not going to tax you too terribly, just either call my office, the number will be on the screen, or you can pop in to see us. We're right here at 117th and Southwest Highway, across from High Tech, which many of you are familiar with, um, and Fuller's Car Wash. The first caller visitor with the correct answer wins. So here are the questions. One, which author wrote the book A Christmas Carol? Two, what were Frosty the Snowman's last words? And finally, how many gifts did my true love send to me in the 12 days of Christmas? That one's going to take a little bit of math. So I look forward to hearing from you. So as we look at the year that went past, I encourage you to take a look back at 2023. Did you set personal and professional goals at the beginning? Did you have setbacks? How did you grow from them? What went according to plan? And what did you accomplish? Who did you serve? And what are you most proud of? And then set your goals for 2024. You have an unwritten book, a big, bright, bold new year, fresh and clean, arriving at midnight, presenting itself to you, full of possibility. Dream big, set goals, make a plan, find a group of like-minded people to keep you motivated and accountable, and just get going. Let's celebrate all we have achieved or just got through in 2023 and toast to all we will dream, build, and create in 2024. I will leave you now with my legal twist on the night before Christmas. I've read this a couple of times in the show and I've always had a very warm response. So here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, mom and dad lay awake wondering about their health, their savings, their house. Their wills could be drafted by an attorney with care. They could have a trust by the end of the year. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds. But what would happen to them if mom and dad were not there? The powers of attorney were waiting, the living will too, but they still delay wondering, is it the right thing to do? An estate plan could be drafted by an attorney with pride. 
yet mom and dad still set that decision aside. Your loved ones are waiting. Your attorney is too. A plan needs to be drafted, executed and reviewed. Another year is gone and things are not done. You're not getting any younger, reminded their son. Make it your New Year resolution to take care of your kin. Those papers are important, so I remind you again. I hope you'll indulge me as I wrap up my rhyme. I just want you to get moving before you run out of time. <coughs> the holidays upon us, so I'll end my poem right. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Wishing you a joyful, peaceful Christmas season and a happy, healthy New Year. Signing off with much, much love. Until next time on Where the Road Rises. Thanks and bye. Mm -hmm.